up y'all as you know i'm going to jamaica been in this airport since six o'clock this morning first let me give you one joke i was home because they when i went out last night to a party and while i was there they sent a um text saying that the flight was delayed until 8 15. so now i said okay that's cool set my alarm clock and everything so this morning my son comes flying into my room. Mom, mom, you gotta go. You gotta get to the airport. You gotta get to the airport. The plane is, is 5 30, 5 30. So I jump up and I'm like, oh my God. He's like, do you have to be there now? I said, no, I have to be there at 6 30. I have to be there at 6 30. I'm throwing on my clothes. Da, 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 da. Then I stop and I said, wait a minute. The flight was delayed till 8 something. <laughs> so now I had so much time to get dressed. I got ready. Finally, need a house. Now we come here to the airport. Go over to the self checkout. One of the ladies there, so this, she's so rude, it don't even make sense. She was so rude to everybody, except for other people, if you get what I'm saying. Then we leave from over there because they're like, oh, you're flying international. You can't even check out in self checkout. So you got to go to the main checkout. So we go over to the main checkout. Now they're telling us we have to fill out this Verify application and all this bull crap. And, didn't even realize we had to do that because I never did that for no flights before. So that was something new to me. Um, Cause I was wondering why I didn't get the thing with the uh, barcode for it to scan. But okay, get here. And they're like, you can't even get on the plane if you don't fill that out. So I'm like, what in the world? That's crazy. We come over here, we filling it out, we filling it out. And my phone is just getting text messages, text messages, text messages, text messages, text messages, text messages. Text messages. And I'm like, why does my phone keep going off? I'm still trying to fill out the thing. I can't find the application on the um, computer. I'm looking all through the American Airlines thing to find it. I can't even find it. Finally, oh, I get it. Finally, fill out the thing. Get the application to go through. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay. Okay, now, now we can't catch the connected flight. Because now, they done changed our flight. They done changed the flight three different times. Now, the flight leaves at 11.45. We're supposed to connect in um, Philly at one o'clock. Really, how, how are we gonna do that? So now they're like, oh, we have to cancel your trip because you won't get a connected flight. And I'm like, okay, tell me something better than this, because this is crazy. So finally, customer service calls me because I had called them because I couldn't find the application to fill out for here. And when you ask them for help, they act like they don't know nothing about it. So, boom. Well, customer service. Public, customer service Fully happened to call me back. So I asked her and I'm kind of like, y'all gonna compensate me for something. Cause if I'm not getting in there and I done paid my money, I should be getting to the airport the day I paid for and, for, and spend the time I paid for for that flight. You're not gonna short change me and have me flying into one place and then gotta get a hotel room and da 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 and then leave tomorrow morning to go to JA? Are you kidding me? Now, um, we're like, okay, let's see if we could fly from um, JFK because we could ask a friend to drive us out. Call, went up, she, um, went up there to check to see if we could fly out from New York to Jamaica. Yes, they have a flight at three something. Right now, it's like nine o'clock in the morning. They have a flight at three something. So the lady comes and say, oh, because of the inconvenience, we can get you a taxi to JFK. So now they're about to pay for a taxi for us to go to JFK. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I am so happy for that. So now we'll be heading to JFK. We're gonna be leaving JFK, going to JA, and hopefully we make it there tonight. We're supposed to make it to JA now at seven o'clock when we were supposed to get there for, uh, what is it, one o'clock. Am I saying that right? The for oh no, prevention. or is it three o'clock? However, whatever time it's supposed to be, child, we were supposed to get there early in the day. Now we're getting there late at night. So that's just a little update on what's going on in my life. What's going on in your life? You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. Leave a comment down below if you've ever experienced this, because this is something crazy you hear what i'm saying this is a mess i don't know if i'll ever fly with american airlines again but this is definitely been an experience so i'll be back with y'all i don't know when i'm gonna come back to y'all but listen i'll be back
sooner than later. Y'all have a wonderful day. Well, a wonderful morning. And I'm hungry. Oh my God, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Oh my God. This is crazy. All right. Peace. Just leaving Bradley. The time is now. 1050 we did some sightseeing as you see ate some delicious food the chef was determined to cook we woke up eating some more good food and then we got dressed and we was out to sightsee so y'all gonna see a lot of sightseeing talk to you later You know, I had to stop at KFC in Jamaica where all the hype is. I had to see what the hype is about because this chicken got to be blazing. Look at the parking lot. Packed to capacity. People backing in, backing out. Inside is packed. Oh, buddy. I'm about to tear this chicken up because I know it's going to be good. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, well. Uh, raw. Mm. <laughs> Let me take another bite. <laughs> mm. Okay. It's it's good. Okay. 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 It, okay. It tastes the same it does back home. What is the hype? Somebody help me out here. Please help me out with why everybody is hyping up KFC in Jamaica. I just don't get it. Help me, please. This is okay. Okay. All right. I'm about to try some fries because uh, uh, the fries got to be blazing because I heard somebody say their fries is better than the U.S. fries too. So here we go. <laughs> no i don't come on i have to try something that's going to blow my mind away about kfc in jamaica i'm gonna try this corn this corn gotta do it they gotta do it the corn gotta do it hmm <sighs> No. Uh the potholes is rough. That's different. But this 
KFC is not different. Stop it, y'all. Y'all got to stop. It's not different. It's not different. Y'all got to stop. It tastes the same. It, it, it tastes the same as regular KFC. Either you like it or you don't. I'm just saying. Oh, Jesus. The potholes in Jamaica are body holes because they, they fit a whole body in them. Look at the bumping and moving I'm doing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hope my food. Oh, I hope it digests. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, oh, oh God, oh God, oh come on, slow down over these pile body holes. I mean, 75 years later. Thank you Anisha Adams for sharing this information on your YouTube. This cake was so delicious down to the rock candy that was ice cubes and the two real red stripe beer on top of the cake. Immaculate, delicious. Whew. What's up y'all? How are y'all doing today? Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. A beautiful time I've been having here. Enjoy myself. Ah, let me see. 
been having a blast. I haven't picking up <laughs> I haven't been picking up the phone as much as I should have. But I have picked it up a little bit, so don't be mad at me now. I'm just saying, please don't be mad at just a star. But yes, I had to come on here and just say hello, good morning. I'm about to start the day. I'm going to do some more running around. Someone is um, making me some coconut drops, so we have to go all the way back to St. Thomas to get my coconut drop. And then after that, it's free for all. We're just going to be all over the place doing all type of other stuff. Had a beautiful day yesterday. I've had a wonderful day every day. It's a beautiful morning. And I'm ready to get the day started. So I'm just ready. But I wanted to come on here just in case I don't pick up the camera and say hello. I wanted to say hello to you all and give you a heads up that everything is going a-okay and I'm having a beautiful time. <sighs> the food has been amazing and I think today I'm driving. I'm driving today. Oh God, it's time for me to get on the road. All right, so I'll see y'all probably when I start driving or if we stop at another market or... <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. All right, later. chilling I'm just gonna drink my coconut water coconut water mm. Mm. it's so nice and cold oh my god this is so nice and cold mm. My God, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. When I tell you this is good, mm. Mm. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Oh, it's dripped down my mouth. But I don't want to make you jealous. I just wanted to share a little something. But I'll be back with y'all in a later time. But I just wanted to show you in my coconut water. Mmm. All right, peace. What's up, people? I'm here. I'm here in, um, where am I right now? Stonington is where I believe I am. 
just visiting hot like fire sweating but I will link up with y'all in a little while ay, 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 ay. if I didn't say where I am properly I would definitely <laughs> put it in the um top of this video because sometimes I don't say so properly yeah no but now I'm in the middle of the road so you can see directly where I am see blowing at me but he could go around I'm sitting in the rental it is hot 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 ah. all right Ron good to see you all right well people we are off see you in a little come in you have the kitchen the cabinets see the bread for we just brought microwave then you have the seating area Have the TV. Come over this way. You have the balcony. There's no AC out here. But you have a bathroom here out in the common area. Washer, dryer, regular washroom. And over here, you have one bedroom. This is my room. You have the closets. We have an umbrella here for you. We didn't even use, I didn't even use the closets. Nice big room. TV in here. You go over here. Same closet. 
the connector. In here, you definitely have the AC. Now you come in here. You have the second bathroom. Well, not second bathroom. You have a bathroom. With the walk-in shower. Got a caddy there for you. Window for some breeze. This is the stuff she give you. And then there's me. As you leave out of this room, this is the second bedroom. Nice big bedroom with a king bed. Oh, my bedroom had a queen bed. This is the bathroom. We're still living in it, so be gentle. Because we're living in here. So, into the bathroom. Nice big room. TV. Closets. Big closet space. Have an iron. An ironing board. And that's it. Back into my room with my squeaky door. Well, y'all, that ended the tour. It's not the best lighting in here, so hopefully you can see me clearly. I just wanted to show you a little piece of the place. Quick little tour, quick little glance of where I stayed here in Portmore, Jamaica. 24 hours later.
what's up what's up what's up yes i came home to sleep oh my goodness i'm about to show y'all what i'm looking at i'm thankful to god to have made it home last night thankful for my son for coming to pick me up hope y'all can see the sleep falling enjoyed myself in ja i'm home i'm closing out this video and I'm just gonna say peace.